Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb Edition. You know what? We'll play as Eve again. I was gonna say, you know what? Let's random. But then I thought to myself, you know what? Let's play as Eve again. Now, every time I say, you know what? Let's play as Eve again. Let's all take a drink together. Uh, no, in actuality, uh, of course, if you did not see the last episode, uh, what I did say in the last episode is that although we have beaten the game with Eve, the chest with Eve, I should say, was under... Uh, kind of extraordinary and unusual circumstances where we beat it with Eve. However, oh man, I need a dime. That's actually, I need a bomb more than anything else. Please don't let me down on this floor. I'm super fast. Are we really lacking this much? Okay, well, we'll fight the boss. Maybe we'll get a bomb there. Uh, yes, I beat the boss, but it was under very unusual circumstances where uh, I was Eve. And I had the Ankh, and then I died before Blue Baby, so I res respawned as the character Blue Baby. Uh, and then beat the game as Blue Baby, but of course having started the game initially as Eve. If that makes any fucking sense in the entire- to anybody in the entire world. Uh, yes. So that's what happened there, and I think that it might have given me credit, at least the commenters seem to think. And again, we're going back like two weeks in the comments now, because of the lead time I've got going here is a little bit longer than I would normally desire. But, uh, commenters seem to think. That only counts as beating the game as Blue Baby, so it's possible for all that complaining that I did in the recent videos. Uh, the actuality of the fact is that uh, I still need to beat the game as Eve, despite having unlocked Eve's bird foot already uh, to get that last secret, which is required to get Platinum God. We still need Guppy's Hairball as well, but I'm not holding my breath on that one. Actually, maybe if I want Guppy's Hairball, I should hold my breath. P U. Alright, that was pretty weak. That was like a Fred Willard joke. Uh... Not that I have anything against Fred Willard, he's a funny guy. Let's go, uh, and we'll go to the self-sacrifice room. You never know, maybe we'll come across some bombs in there. Guppy's paw. Let me think about this. We're gonna die. If we... <laughs> if I go into the secret room, we're gonna die. I can't do it. I have to, I, I have to abandon this floor. I'm not happy about it, because there was like 13 cents and a couple of tinted rocks. Oh well, not much we can do about that. We're just gonna hold Guppy's Paw. Guppy's Paw, of course, is a very powerful item uh, for the, its potential as Eve to put us in a permanent curse state. So we're gonna just play it cool for now. I had problems with keys and bombs last time, not as well as Eve. Not so much bombs, I guess. My bombs were fine, especially after I got the bomb bag. Gordon Bomb Bag, coach of the Mighty Ducks! Um, hmm. Maybe. We'll think about that in a second. I desperately need a key. Maybe we'll go to the shop. Maybe I'll use bomb, get the Ace of Spades trinket, which is like huge luck up. Uh, go to the shop and try to win some bombs and keys from the, the men and... Oh, excellent. Uh, Three-headed man in here. If we win some hearts, that's cool too. We can go to the blood bank. A-OK -okay in my book. If we lose every single play here, I'm not even gonna know what to think. That hurts. Why did I... Okay, well, we got more money. Let's do this again. I was gonna say, why did I even bother coming in here then? And wasting my bomb to get the luck upgrade. Okay, well, this is sort of working out now, although I have lost half a heart in the shop so far. Uh, we'll save that spirit heart. Let's... Oh, my God. Okay, well, now we'll pick it up, I guess. Apparently, I'm uh, pretty bad at the Binding of Isaac lately. Cool, we can maybe get Fly Love. That could be alright. Hey, awesome. We got Fly Love, uh, we have no money, we are in the permanent curse state, which is actually pretty excellent. We're fast, we do decent damage, and we have Guppy's Paw, which we can't really afford to use yet. And I can't open that because I don't have a bomb or a key, god damn it. Seriously? Drop a key on this floor, on this room I should say. Or a crate from the boss, I'll accept either. Bomb's okay. We could possibly use that to get a key from the uh, Tinted Rock up here. Let's go take a look. So I'll put it right here. Hopefully this will allow us to get to that red chest as well. It will indeed. And more bombs. Okay, that's alright. Now keys. Those are not keys, those are spiders. Common mistake. Okay, I'm gonna take a drip, drink of water, rehydrate a little bit here. And think about what the fuck we're gonna do. Okay, you know what we're gonna... We got two bombs. We're gonna blow up uh, the blood bank first. Okay, that's gonna take us out of our curse state. That might be alright. And then we're gonna blow this up. We're gonna hope for a key. We got a key out of it. Oh my god, I, I can't believe that actually worked out. And Hero Font as well. I wish I didn't blow up the Blood Bank now. 
I could be like very safe in the permanent curse state. So now we'll go to the item room. Somehow this actually worked out semi okay. And we got Max's head. All that for a damage upgrade. We're still firing like normal tears, which I don't like, but that's alright. Uh, what am I thinking here? Why am I not using the Hero Font card? It's a good question. Uh, I want to maybe save Spirit Hearts for a little bit later. Actually, I don't know why I'm not using the Hero Font card. Let's kill Larry Jr. here, get his uh, Spirit Heart that he'll give us, because he is blue. Dabba dee, dabba die. And, uh, yeah, then we'll pop our shits. Wow, we are rolling in Spirit Hearts here. This is crazy. Good lord. We just picked up like six spirit hearts on this room. I don't want to go down by accident, so let's check this out first. Two hearts for Brimstone! Permanent Curse State, Guppy's Paw, Brimstone. Let's go fucking crazy. This is a weird setup we've got here, but I think it might be really fucking awesome. <clears throat> we'll see. So... Let's keep things going here. Alright, we are indeed doing very good damage. What do we want now? Dental plan! When do we need it? Yesterday! Um, we don't really want Mom's Pearl. Higher chance of Mom items dropping. It's not a bad item. Uh, you know, we could get like Mom's Contact, which is like freezing effect or extra tears, I can't remember. But that's a solid item. But I really don't want Mom's Bra. I really don't want Mom's Pad. That's even worse, probably. Uh, but I do want some health upgrades so that I can use Guppy's Paw effectively here. Otherwise, I might as well just give this up as a spacebar item. It's not really doing a whole heck of a lot for me. Extra key, excellent, that's so good. Like, in order to ensure that we can still go to the treasure room on this floor. But I'm, I'm not sweating this permanent curse state, high damage uh, brimstone either. Believe me, I understand how lucky we are to be in that situation. I'm not taking this brimstone-ness for granted. How did that one fly manage to survive that terrible situation? It's like how Bruce Willis survived the train crash in Unbreakable. <clears throat> Another key for us. I apologize that I'm clearing my throat a lot. I've been doing a lot of recording lately. I am taking like a, a couple days off for vacation. Uh, we got here, Abel. So, you know, I've been recording like six, seven upwards of that videos every day. And eventually, you know, over time, that's that starts to wear down on your throat a little bit. It's funny, like, if you watch like, uh, like Day 9 or Atosis or anything like that, or Toby Wan Dawson, any of the guys who do like esports casting, oh, and you, you listen to them like, after they've just done a spell of like 20 or 30 days casting and what they do is obviously more uh, hard on the voice than what I do of course but um what was I going to say uh, yeah if you listen to them after a spell you know 20 30 days casting or something like that they've just done like a big tournament like a that had invitationals or qualifiers and stuff like that and then like a, a live final or anything like that just a lot of casting in a row uh voices sound totally shot and then they go on vacation come back and their voices sound silky smooth so that's what i'm hoping for also i catch a lot of flack every time i say that i'm going on vacation northern line you went on vacation last month let's put this in perspective i mean i realize that i have i have a great job but i do literally work every day like two to three videos recorded every day monday through sunday so my vacations you might also just consider them you know i take one weekend a month but luckily, my job is fun enough that I'm in a position where that is not a terrible thing. All I'm trying to say, don't get indignant thinking I'm taking so much time off of work. Don't worry, the Isaac videos will still flow. We will come up here and check the left. I got, oh, I got Abel from that room, that's right. And I guess we'll hold on to Ace of Spades. I don't intend to do too much gambling, but... Ooh, we will go to the shop, though. Getting really lucky. I, I thank God we can go back to that room. Now, this is kind of shitty. Because you might have noticed, oh, well, okay, now it's not, but it was th shaping up to be kind of shitty because you might have noticed there were two doors with keys. One of them is a library, obviously, and that is this one, which will give us Book of Sin, which will give us a Fool Tarot card, which is not that good. Obviously, this one, same thing. So we basically just traded a key for a Fool card, which is not really my favorite course of action. Then we'll see what we got down here in the shop. We got the map for 15 cents. Yes, we will buy that. Reason being... Eventually, one day in the future, we'll have bombs. And those bombs may well allow us to actually uh, find the secret room that is listed on the map. Assuming we don't get Curse of Darkness again. So anyway, we'll come through here, get a new vignette, and I will rehydrate a little bit. Beautiful. Wasn't saying beautiful because of his little weenus. Don't get me put on the sex offenders list, please. I would love to get those pills. Wow, I would love to get all of these pills. Uh, unfortunately, we need some method of which to do that. 
that is currently not possible for us. Did I not pick up that key? Oh, that was Abel. I thought Abel was a key. Just like, you know, I don't even see, when I'm playing Isaac anymore, I don't even see distinct shapes. I just see like blobs of color and I choose my, my actions accordingly based on that. White blob of color? Okay, it's, it's either a key or it's a spider nub. Red blob of colors? Stay the fuck away unless it's your own brimstone shot. Did we get a bomb here? Nope. Emperor takes us directly to the boss, of course. Not uh, a bad card, but certainly the longer we hold on to that, the better it will be. Really need a bomb to access some of this awesome shit that I'm passing up here. I mean, I can't believe we got Curse of the Darkness again, so I can't even see where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Or where the secret room is, which I just bought the map for the explicit purpose of getting. I forgot I had fly love, so I don't have to sweat those grandfather flies so much. That was horrible. It's okay though. Functionally traded. One spirit heart for three cents. Not a great deal, but there are, you know, worse deals out there, I suppose. And here we have death card, that's alright. And we do have a treasure room, which I will go to with my one remaining key to get blood rights. Blood rights is like Necronomicon. Uh, but it costs us money, so or it costs us health, so it doesn't really work in this situation. We kind of just desperately need bombs more than anything else. I think I've explored this entire floor already. That sucks. <laughs> Alright, but we might get something awesome from uh, the Fallen here. So what I will do is kill the Fallen step one, and then use ne uh, the Death card, not Necronomicon, on step two. I'm not doing as much damage as I would have liked right now. And we'll see what he gives us. Uh, Spirit of the Night would be awesome. That would be A-OK -okay in my books. There's lots of stuff that would actually be very good. But I don't know, we'll see. Fallen has a decent track record for good items, I would say. Ouija board is not one of those items. I'm gonna go back and get the Emperor card before I go down to the next floor, but that is pretty shitty uh, that we're missing out on all this good stuff. This is our Emperor card, and down to the next floor. Catacombs part two, on the bright side, I mean, they fell very quickly. I need some health upgrades so that I can fucking use Guppy's paw. I haven't taken very much damage as we've been moving on here. This has got to be an XL floor. I think. Any second now. There we go. Um, yes, Curse of the Labyrinth on Necropolis. Pretty much the worst thing you could possibly imagine from a, a bad luck perspective. But we have great items. I, I think we should be able to make it through here without getting fucked too hard. Which is a shame, because that's more along the lines of what I wanted. We're going to go up top left looking for the secret room first. I mean, we're probably going to explore nearly everything on this floor, if not everything on this floor. Just because it's going to take us the entire floor to find both treasure rooms. In all likelihood, anyway. Lots of red hearts, but no red heart containers, so I can't make good use of those. I kind of thought I'd be able to get all three of those guys in one shot, like I did their brothers, but no such luck. Okay. With our one bomb, we will open up the secret room. The secret room contains six cents. Was it worth it? Possibly. We don't know yet. And that is a fortune teller, and this is a dead end. Well, that was bad dodging. Very bad dodging, in fact. Oh well, we're still, like, in terms of performance, we're doing fine. We've gotten good items. Uh, and I haven't been taking much stupid damage. I've been taking a little stupid damage, but I haven't taken too much stupid damage. Uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Unfortunately, since we're running on 100% spirit hearts here, I also haven't had a chance to replenish my health, because we've gotten shit luck when it comes to bombs and tinted rocks. Namely, we've gotten tinted rocks, but no bombs. We also have very limited keys, which will prove to be a problem on this floor where I need... Fuck. Can I even get out of here? I have to go around the other way. <laughs> um... Could use that bomb to get to that chest in that scent. Sure, let's try it out, because I want the key, of course. Like, keys are still more valuable than bombs in this situation. But, uh, we got neither there. Although we did get enough money to make the shop worthwhile, which will be great when it, you know, inevitably becomes greed in the shop. That's just what we need right now. Seriously, Guppy's Paw at the start of the game been holding it for so long, and just no red hearts to be found. Pretty shitty. Okay, well, obviously I want that spirit heart. We have to come up with some way to actually get that. So, you know, I'm all ears. Maybe we'll pick up a flying item at some point. That worked out okay. 
There's a library. And a key. So the key will not be used on the library. We'll use the key on the treasure room instead. I mean, I... <laughs> It's worth it for me to just pick up the Spirit Heart, because I'll get, like, the Spirit Heart plus Ascent with my period of invincibility. Uh, but it'll obviously cost me a Spirit Heart as well. I don't know. It's, it's risky. We'll see if there's a... Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, why am I getting all these items? It's like Edmund McMillan is laughing at me. Like, I'm having flashbacks to that co-commentary we did where he was like, I really like the items that, you know, like, you hurt yourself to make yourself better. And I'm like, okay. Guppy's Paw! Um, Blood Rites, Kamikaze, all coming up like exactly the same fucking run. When all I need, or all I want, oh, fuck, I stepped on the spikes! All I want is just like passive health upgrades, the most basic item in like the whole fucking game. And I'm running pretty low on health here. We should still be fine on this floor. Uh, but you know the problem, like, I don't, I don't think short term and eyes are getting very much anymore. Uh, the problem is, is long-term. How the fuck are we gonna beat the Cathedral? How the fuck are we gonna beat Blue Baby? How are we gonna beat the chest? Like, beating Blue Baby is possible, but the... Okay, the flies don't hurt me. I forgot I had fly love. Uh, beating Blue Baby is possible, but is it possible to get to Blue Baby? Because Blue Baby's a pain in the ass to get to, because the chest is, like, the most difficult floor that you could possibly imagine. Why am I doing such shitty damage? Keep going up here, looking for a key. Oop, see ya! Got very lucky there. I'm just gonna back up. There we go, perfect shot. <laughs> and the flies don't hurt me, so I get... Joke's on you guys, I'm with my brothers here. The bomb flies still hurt, which sucks. But that would make fly love pretty goddamn powerful. I can't, I don't, I shouldn't have to kill these guys though, if, if they're friends with me. So I'm just gonna keep exploring every room we come across. Cause lord knows. The one room I skip will be the room that contains, like, the best trinket in the game or something. Or, yeah, the room that contains a lot of spirit hearts. Demon Judgment wants my health, but I am not happy to oblige him. And we got a bomb, so we're up to two. Ah, now we're up to four. Could possibly go to that extra, the room with the number of bombs. Is he gonna just kill himself here? Alright, well, I'm happy to finish the job. Uh, we could go to that room with the number of bombs now. Possibly pick up some good stuff there. I mean, just more bombs, I guess. Ah, uh, we have no keys. Let's check out that bomb room quickly. What was this again? Lover's card. Obviously, we can't use that. Uh, so we'll take the Emperor instead. Continue moving onwards here. Ah, uh, oh, this is the other thing I want to do. It's just like, toss a bomb like right there. Fuck. Okay, well, let's see if we can make a profit out of here somehow. Then I can waste more bombs doing this. So that's still a one bomb profit on this one, even though it might seem like I wasted it. Cool. Uh, so we're up to five now. So we'll try tossing... The one right here should blow it out the other side. There we go. That was worth it. Ah, uh, now bottom right. Where hopefully we will find more keys, because I've got treasure rooms to visit. If not, well, that's really shitty. Because we are going to be low for the chest as well, but... I mean, I mean, we'll worry about the chest when we actually have a chance to get there, I guess. Chariot card. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. I want to save the Emperor card. Like, I want to use the Chariot maybe on a room leading up to the boss. And then use the Emperor card, or save the Emperor card during the boss fight so that I can use it on, you know, maybe a Womb or Utero XL or something, or a Cathedral. Lifesteal. What a waste. What a waste on this floor of our items. Uh, of our treasure rooms, I should say. Kamikaze, which is an item that I think is terrible by and large, unless you have, like, some way to replenish your health. Better than that? I don't know. Uh, like, replenish your health above and beyond what Kamikaze does to you. I think it's a terrible item. Uh, especially with the fact that the game's gotten ten times harder since the Wrath of the Lamb updates. And, uh, yeah. Kills heal when I don't even have any red hearts. Pretty terrible. I can't believe I haven't gotten any red heart containers extra over the course of this game. You get them so often for so many things. Uh, let's play this, actually. Reason being, perhaps, I don't want money, I don't want the dollar bill. Bombs and keys is all I want. Spirit hearts, A-OK -okay too, but I don't really need anything else. I just want this to be over as fast as possible. Spirit heart, okay, well that's fine. If it's 22 cents for a spirit heart, I can live with that. It's not a great, uh... Exchange rate, but we're probably not going to be able to go to the shop anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much, does it? 
I have Ace of Spades! You should be paying out constantly. I guess they're paying out a lot with money, but that's not what I want at all. I don't want your money. I want your life. Well, not really. I want your keys. In here. Uh, sorry, what I meant to say is I want your scissors so that I can cut open the caution tape and enter into the ninja secret room. Anything? Nothing here. Okay, well. Guess we might as well play this until we get super low. Because, uh, super low on money, I mean, of course. Uh, because I need keys above all else. We can go to that library, maybe pick up a book of revelations or something. We can, a book of Belial would be great too. Uh, lots of books would be great in this situation. Go to the shop, although that's becoming increasingly less likely. Really? Maybe I shouldn't have said 22 cents for a spirit heart is a good deal. This is insanity. Come on! I don't need this shit right now. Spirit hearts! If you're gonna give me this stuff, give me spirit hearts. This is just comical at this point. Oh well, we'll keep it going. One and our final s- oh. One and... Our final sand gives us... Nothing. Except the opportunity to blow this up. For a spirit heart, which is okay. I mean, they... It's been good to me on that front. Like, it, it, it did alright by me in terms of spirit hearts. But, in terms of pretty much everything else... It was a waste of time at that slot machine. Especially since I really just feel like I needed the key. Watch, we'll get like a key drop on our lap. Oh, chariot, okay. Perfect. Perfect opportunity. We would have otherwise taken a ton of damage on this floor, probably. So now all I have to worry about is going back and picking up that Emperor card, which I think I left in this room right over here. Fantastic! Good use of tarot cards, feels good. We'll move up and on here. Could have also saved it for this room. Oh, come the fuck on. So I'll save the Emperor card as long as I can. I would rather use it, of course, on Blue Baby. Oh, the Chariot again. Uh, or I should say on the chest, because that's you're not really skipping Blue Baby, you're skipping the floor up to Blue Baby. And we found our second secret room, which was unexpected. Contained therein, we find a number of red hearts. The game is basically just teasing me. So we'll take our Emperor card, fight the boss, get the Polaroid, go down to the womb and see what's up with that. Oh wait, we're only on Necropolis. I forgot that we had two bosses to fight here, right? That was a big floor. Forgive me. Well, we could have saved our chariot for this room then. That was poor use. Oh well. Dead bird, of course, totally useless on these like peep bloat fights. Because it just fucking goes after the eyes, which is ridiculous. I know the strategy for bloat largely is to stand behind it. I haven't found myself in a good position to do that yet. At least with any sort of reliability. This might be a good opportunity for us now. Sneak a couple more shots in here. Dodge that one. And he's dead. That went really well. That's a health upgrade! Wow! Uh, obviously we'll trade that in immediately for some extra spirit hearts. Maybe we'll get the same treatment from Mom. And it is just regular Mom here. No fancy stuff. Abel's doing a little bit of extra damage. Not very much, but a little bit. You know, it's the thought that counts, really. Just using Brimstone to crowd control, as well as occasionally, uh, you know, hitting the structures for Mom. Oh my god, come on. That's such bad luck. Just keep this up here. Closing in on 50% dead, but I'm really not doing as much damage as I thought I would. Oh my god, such terrible damage. I can't get over it. What hit me there? Is the, did an update come out between like 20 minutes ago when I finished my last run and right now when I started this run and they, they changed Mom's hitbox again? I don't know, man. As long as we get the Polaroid, I don't give a shit how, they, how much health we lose here. We can always just use the Emperor card and, and pretty much guarantee ourselves a trip to the Cathedral. Of course I took damage from the explosion of Mom at the end. Uh, we'll continue downwards, I guess. I'm kind of hoping it's an XL floor so I can pop. Oh, maybe sometimes be careful what you wish for. So that I can pop the uh, Emperor card right away and just speed things up a little bit. Or maybe we're just going to get a uh, white screen of death here. I can wait. It's no problem. Might actually be kind of a problem here. Oh, there we go. The pink glitch again. Alright, well that's fine. A little weird. And it's only the wound part one. Very strange. 
that's all right though. Ah, uh, lots of money again. Uh, we'll check bottom. Well, it's not really bottom left. We'll check this area over here. For oh, all oh, right, I forgot the Polaroid is actually going to be great because we will get invincibility every single time we get hit. And since I'm apparently terrible at the Binding of Isaac, I'm getting hit a lot. So this might be uh, kind of a savior right now. That being said, we still need some way to get more health. Lard would be so good right now. Lard or uh, like super bandage or liver, anything along those lines. Obviously, we have, we've chosen the wrong path here. But we're amassing some bombs, which is cool. No keys, which is shitty. Uh, but apparently, I don't need keys because every time I use a key... Oh, we can bomb our way into the library. Every time I use a key to access a room, the room has shit items in it. So... Uh, we will bomb our way into the library here, see what we get. Book of Belial. Well, I'm gonna go with it. Guppy's Paw has the potential to give us more health, but we have to rely on getting more spirit hearts, to, or more red hearts to make that happen. And that's not been a very good or very reliable metric so far. So, instead we're gonna go with Book of Belial, which we know how it works. Can't open that golden chest. I have a feeling this floor is gonna be pretty damn quick. And you know what? Pop some some B.O.B. here, because Book of Belial, really underrated item, I feel. I, I know a lot of people like it, but I still think it's underrated. It's probably in my top ten spacebar items, maybe top five, actually. Obviously, you've got, uh, you know, Nail is probably up there, maybe number one. Candle, Book of Revelations, Book of Belial. I, I prefer Book of Belial to the Necronomicon, I think. I'm probably forgetting some bitchin' spacebar items, but... That's... Oh, fuck. I, mean, I was trapped between a rock and a hard place there. What can I do? Um, yeah, you know, Book of Belial, maybe top five. Maybe top five. It's hard to say. A lot of great space bar items. Existing in the Binding of Isaac. Oh, man. Get the fuck out of there. A lot of terrible space bar items existing in the Binding of Isaac as well. Okay. Maybe. Oh, watch out. Sneak some of these in here. I don't know how this is going to work out. Maybe we can get... Uh, well, we do have Book of Lyle charged already, but I don't need to fuck around with that, really. Because we're going to be fine on this floor. Like, I don't want to waste my Emperor card, like, rushing to fight Skolex or something, who's going to be super easy. Come on. Very shitty damage so far. Don't want the safety cap, either. Decent item. Decent trinket, I should say. It's not really an item. Who we got here? Skolex, what did I tell you? So pop up the Belial as soon as we can. A couple of hits should be enough to take him down here. Although I'm positive that he got buffed from a health perspective. At some point, although it's still very, very easy. So there's our 8-ball with the Justice card. Justice gives us a golden key at the worst possible opportunity. What do you got for us, Satan? What could you possibly give us here? I want neither of those. Guppy's Tail would probably be the worst pickup I could imagine right now. <laughs> like, not... I, I don't have any keys. I don't have flying. I don't have that many bombs to really, like, secure... Getting to Guppy's Paw... Or getting to these golden chests that would appear, so... I think that would be pretty horrible. Two of diamonds. Why not pop that right away? Emperor's card is great as well. It's gonna give us huge damage on a room. But, of course, I want to save the Emperor card for as long as possible. So I'm not sure if this gives us double curse, like if that's a thing that can even exist all the way across the sky. Let me see. Could have saved it for the boss as well, but again, I think the Emperor card at this point, I've been holding it for so long, it's it's more valuable. You know, it's like a, a rare action figure still, oh my god. A rare action figure still in this packaging at this point. It's like a Antiques Roadshow item. Can we get, that's exactly what I was going to ask for actually game gave it to me before I could complain. And there's our boss room, so again, did find... <laughs> did find it very quickly. I always expect, like, for Babylon to allow you to do more damage than this. Like, this is little damage. A little damage increase, in my opinion, is what I should say, perhaps. Uh, but I think we might have a chance at beating the boss here. I don't know. Like, we're gonna beat Mom's heart. I think that goes without saying. Can we beat Isaac? I don't know. We don't have enough keys to open anything on the chest. So normally when I say like, well, if we can beat Isaac, we can beat Blue Baby. Uh, that's not the case here. The reason for that is because we're not going to get, like, we don't have any items to we can rely on in the chest. Unless we come across, like, huge key gains from this fight right here. We, we won't have any items to 
we can count on in the chest in order to give us like a better chance of beating Blue Baby than we had against Isaac. So I'd say we have like a 10% chance of victory for the actual game itself here. This will depend on the treasure we find, if we do find treasure moving onwards here. But you can see like I'm not doing nearly as much damage as I need to be doing uh, in order to, to take this out very quickly. Like the Mom's Heart Boss fight is super easy of course as we all know. And I am uh, still struggling with that to a certain extent. I'm not struggling in the sense that I'm, I'm taking damage or there's any risk of me dying. Hopefully. Uh, but struggling in the sense that uh, like I, I should be killing Mom way faster than this. Way faster than this. I can't stress that part enough. Way faster than this. So I think we have, we have pretty much no shot at the Cathedral. But uh, if I pop my Emperor card, we might have a shot against Isaac because of the invincibility from the Polaroid. Dead Bird, maybe. I don't know. I think it's a long shot, though. Finally, we finished up with that. We can head up to the next floor. Pop the Emperor card right away. Let's give it a shot, anyway. Don't hold out a lot of hope. Oh, man. All oh, right, I forgot that I didn't even have, like, Halo Flies or anything to dodge shots, so I'm pretty much boned, I think. We'll just... Ah, there we go. Yeah, I deserve that. Uh, I tried, you know, I've had two good runs with Eve in a row, but there were runs where I got like a couple of good items and then it was like, alright, just figure it out for yourself, asshole. Uh, and I didn't. I didn't figure it out for myself. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.